<laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit what we can expect this season. It seems like the show is emphasizing the fun aspect, even though all these kids are in the hospital. Yes, because we're going to be fun. We're going to be very fun. Well, we are in a reverence show, hopefully, and while we're dealing with very intense and emotional subject matter, I think what we're trying to do more than anything is show that these kids, uh, I was just saying before, everyone, when I read Fault in Our Stars, there's this storyline in it about the kid who's going blind, and he doesn't care about the fact that he's going blind, he cares about the fact that his girlfriend does too. And that's where we live. We live in the universe where these really intense things are happening to our kids, but they're focused on what's happening to them right in front of their face in the present. And sometimes that's the disease that they're struggling with, and sometimes it's a boyfriend problem. Sometimes it's a problem with one of their parents or a conflict with one of the nursing staff. So we're never going to be sort of living, we're not living in disease. Disease is our backdrop, and this hospital is our backdrop. But I think there's been so many wonderful hospital shows, like Grey's Anatomy, that sort of show us you can have your cake and eat it too. You can laugh and you can cry, and we want to laugh and cry. Okay. How much of a revolving door will it be with the characters that come and go in the, in the hospital itself? Right now, for the first 13, it's we're with our the kids who meet the pilot are there, and we are introducing more people along the way. You'll meet a new I'm trying to think. You'll meet a new doctor. I think in episode five or six, you meet a new kid in six. So more and more people are going to be coming into our world, and eventually someone will leave our world. I can't say who <laughs> or how or how. I can't say who or how. How you probably know a little bit, but who I can't say. Okay. Well. Can you describe who might be the biggest troublemaker? I mean, it seems like these kids are not your cookie cutter kids that are going to be straight lines. I think Daph is a troublemaker. And I think everyone is sort of working from their gut. But I think who's going to get into the most mischief? Probably Dash. Dash may or may not invite a stripper back to the hospital. I cannot say for sure. But it's possible that that will happen. Is there going to be singing and dancing? People really want to know. I know people want singing and dancing. Well, we've got Wilson Cruz, so I want some singing. Okay. Um, so, I don't know about dancing. Okay. We'll see how he does. He's pretty sick kid. He's, some of them can't dance. Pretty sick kid. Some of them can't dance. But it's going to have a snappy tune. I mean, I think I think one of the most amazing things about the pilot, which we're really wanting to, to carry through in series, is the soundtrack. I think the soundtrack is amazing. I think the songs are just you want to have them all in your iPod at the end of the show. So I think a huge element of the show for sure is the music. And even though our kids may not be singing it, the viewers will hopefully at the end of each show go, "Okay, I need four of those songs right now." And that's that's our that's our dream. Okay.